I'm actually quite sorry for the fact that um, I haven't made videos for a while. I think my last one was probably, uh, <clears throat> or at least my last proper video, would have been the one about my phone, the Contempra. Then I made one just for someone on my Discord server, which I didn't put much effort into, but um, basically I have gotten so much stuff that I want to show. That I don't know how to show it so I'm just starting with the big items and I'm going down from there and this is one of the larger items of course. Um, this is an answering machine that I know nothing about. The only thing I do know is that it's from the 80s and uh, according to the tape on it was owned by a priest actually. That's all that I know about it. As you can see, it says answer call, Prince Remote Control Answering System. If I look for that on Google, I cannot find anything. If I search for answer call, however, I can find this 1980s answering machine that has a phone attached to it and it even has, a, as they call it, touch tone dialing on it. I uh, cleaned this up as much as I could. I hoovered it, there used to be a lot of dirt on it. Um, but I, c I couldn't really do much about the actual metal plate here. There's a small dent there, unfortunately. Um, there's these marks here that I tried to get off with an eraser. It kind of removed some of the dirt, but you can still see where it used to be because, well, I think the dirt had been there for so long that it kind of actually protected it. So the rest of it is a different color to this part. Um, I also opened it and there's a lot of it looks like someone has at some point opened it and tried to repair it themselves. So it's meant to have a fuse in the base of it, but that was completely missing. So I didn't plug it in because I thought, well, if the fuse is missing, I won't plug it in because of course it won't work without the fuse. Um, but it turns out that they have kind of hardwired fuse into it. They have put their own fuse in it somehow. And there is a ton of like bodge wires, you know, patch wires and things like that, and they have modified resistors in it. Uh, but the components themselves seem to be of high quality. Also, the remote control part of the name. Um, there are actually a lot of ports here on the side, so I'll actually say what they are because I can't really move it around with its size. Like this is really big. Um, the ports say earphone, mic, remote. And the remote one seems to be really small, so the other two are just your average audio jack. But then the one that says remote is really, really tiny. Um, I would say it's probably about the same size as a Nokia charger connection. Um, so obviously it's meant to have a remote, or something along the lines that could be called a remote, that I of course do not have. Um, I don't quite understand how this works, what I was hoping was, um, I was hoping that now unfortunately there's there's actually a, a little button here that you can press that pops up the tape and I'll take out the tape actually to show it so this is the one that actually has something on it and this is the one where the priest is saying um he says Father Noel is unfortunately not available to take your call now so please leave a message and your number after the beep but that's the one that actually has something on it and the other one, unfortunately, I'll just put this one back, um, is missing that little button that you press. So I have to kind of lift it up myself. And this one is by Realistic. The other one was by Philips, I believe. I'm not sure. So this one says that it was made in Mexico. By the way, um, it has this really nice beige colour to it and these sort of lines that you would see on something like a Commodore 64 or VIC-20 and I really like it because of that. This tape is blank, unfortunately. I was hoping that there would be some 
actual recordings on it from back when this thing was still in use, but no, there's nothing. Um, I've only turned it on once so far, and I didn't have it on for a very long time. So um, I'm just going to turn it on now, and uh, I will just say one thing. The motor of it is really loud, so if... In fact, I'll just turn that up to max right now, because the motor of it is so loud that you won't be able to hear anything unless it is actually at max, so... Uh, I'm not sure exactly which tape is currently selected, but I'm just going to stop recording, turn it on, and then go back. I have it switched on from the mains, which has, um, it has an old plug that doesn't have the sleeving on the line of neutral pins, and it has a 3 amp fuse. So now I'll switch it on, and hopefully it doesn't blow up. If it does, um, well that would be quite bad, I think. All right, it looks like it's on, but I don't know what it's doing. It didn't do this last time. Last time, that thing was flashing from there to there constantly. Message received is what that thing said. I didn't understand what it meant. Um, hmm. Yeah, that's what it was doing. I don't know which one's playing. I'm going to stop it, open it, and then see which one's playing. Okay, that's the blank tape. Is Eric Hotney from Father Nog's house? Sorry, I'm not here to take your call. But if you leave your name and phone number, and I will call you back later. Thank you. Okay, I don't know if the microphone actually picked that up, but he said, uh, Fired Noel is not here to take your call, so please leave a message after the beep, um, and he'll get back to you, basically. Um, so, of course, there are selectors here. You can play the tape, you can rewind the tape, you can record. And the record thing, I'm definitely never going to record over that, because it's kind of the history of this machine, you know, it lets me know who owned it in the past. There's the microphone actually there, but, of course, according to the the ports there, you can plug in a microphone if you want. I'm not entirely sure how this actually works, how it connects to your phone. I don't know if it just connects directly to the uh, POTS line. But uh, unfortunately the connection is taken off and I don't know what connection it was meant to have because normally um, phone connections have eight connections on them. They have eight pins, but this one only has four wires, so I'm not quite sure if there was a unique connection that also plugged straight into your phone, or what happened, but... Um, I'll just turn that down because all you can hear is static. Well, I'm not even sure if the um, microphone is even picking up any of that. So I'm just going to close this. Actually, no, I'm just going to um, move the camera up and show a top-down view of it, hopefully without getting the wire from the microphone in the way. So you can see there's all of the... Uh, the knobs, the dials, the buttons, and uh, oops, the microphone is getting caught. So here is actually the tapes, and as you can see, on the outgoing one, it has this little piece of plastic there that allows you to press it. But on this one, it's just metal, which is the piece that's unfortunately missing. Um. This was the biggest item that I have to show so far, at least. I'll just turn that off. Um, the next few items will be... Uh, so I got a massive box of so many vintage die-cast dinkies from all the way back to the 1930s. Um, there were a Matchbox, there was an Edo car, an FC, a Geiss Val, they were all, you know, all very rare die-casts, of course. I'll just move the camera a little bit. Um, they're all very rare die-casts, of course. I got a headset in the box that's probably going to be one of the next few things I show because it's pretty big. I got um, a camera that is complete with its instruction manual and bag and then I got a bag and instruction manual for a camera that I already have that I want to show. I got a bunch of vintage video games, a bunch of vintage cassettes, 
um, you know, like rare prog rock albums that I kind of want to show, but I don't know how I'm going to showcase them because all of my cassette players, you require, um, they require a headset plugged in for you to hear them. So I might need to use a hi-fi set for it, which is no problem since I do have a hi-fi set. It'll just be a change of scenery, of course. This video is going on very long, but um, I also have a few other large, like oddball kind of items to show. Stuff that I've never actually shown on my channel before, more technology. Um, I'm just trying to think. I have two Kodak Extra Lights that, that one of them is the one that I was talking about that I got in the bag with the instruction manual and the other one is one that I got for free. That wouldn't take too long to show because it's quite a small one. It's one of the compact Extra Lights from the 80s. I got a bunch of PS1 games, but I probably won't show those since my channel. Uh, I only have like one or two videos talking about the PS2 or PS1. Sorry. Um, I'm just like there's so much stuff that I have to show. Um, I don't know how to show it, what order to show it in. I mean, I'm probably not going to show all the diecasts. I'll just show the rare ones or the interesting ones because. There's just so much that I got from that big box and there's some that I can't even display. Some of them are really damaged, so of course I won't bother showing those ones. Uh, I hope this video was interesting. I know it's not the most interesting item to show. It's an answering machine, but I, I think it's a pretty cool looking answering machine and it's cool that it still works at least. Um, I should probably stop recording now because this video is going on for way too long. It's mostly just me talking about the videos I'm going to make. I mean. Another thing actually, I was thinking of making videos about these books that I have because there's one particular book that I have found recently that I have a lot of nostalgia for. It's a book from 1979 about aeroplanes and I thought that it might be cool to show it. Not that books are a big thing on my channel of course, but just because that book actually means something to me I felt like showing it. Anyways now I should probably stop uh, this video and move on to the next one or move on to making the next one. So that's all.